Generating templates in Experience Builder is quick and painless. So let's say I have this application already created, which is meeting the branding guidelines of my organization. And it also is a layout that I want to be utilized in future resources so that my target audience has consistency in layout and functionality of the products that I'm publishing. If I want to generate a template from this, I click on the overflow menu in the upper right hand corner and I click on generate template. At first, it'll look like it's not doing anything, but then it will flip over and give you a message that your template has been successfully generated. What you're going to see is something that looks almost exactly the same as your builder did. But up here in the upper left hand corner is where you'll see a difference. There is an icon here that if you hover over it, it is telling you that this is an experienced template. So it is not a builder that's going to be able to, you know, publish an application for your target audience. It is a template that you can edit uh, or, or publish from here. So I'm going to change the name of this to include the word template. Let's say I've already made all the changes I needed to make. Now I just need to publish this. And when I publish this, I am publishing this as a template so that then I can utilize that template in the future. Depending on your share settings, you could also publish templates for your organization to utilize. So now that that is successfully published, I'm going to click back over to my experience gallery. And up here in the upper left, there is another tab that says templates. When I click on templates, you can see that I have my template here. This is one I published earlier, uh, but this is one I published just now. And if I want to edit that further, I can click on this edit button or I can click on this plus symbol. The plus symbol allows me to create a new experience utilizing this template. So when I click on that plus sign, the builder will open up and I can now start modifying this for my new project or the new resource that I am creating. And I can change that name, resource two. And then when I've made the changes that I've needed to make, I can now publish this and that will now be the map application utilized by my target audience.